I, I get it, Ian. I'm not there yet personally. I mean, it's, it, it, I have a little bit, um, to be honest, the reaction I, I did to the calls to, uh, to abolish ICE. Um, someone has to do that job. Um, and to me, more to the point is how do we get policing right? Um, I, I, I understand the slogan. Um, I understand what it, what it points to. Um, but what I want is to be able to count on the police uh, to build real relationships with community, to be a source of safety and order, um, and not just a source of um, control and, uh, uh, and in many cases, violence. There are lots of really great rank and file police officers. And I think it is meaningful that so much of um, of law enforcement leadership has spoken up um, to su in support of the protesters and in support of the points that they're making. So I, I want us to be able to rely on responsible and modern uh, policing that emphasizes restorative justice and de-escalation and community building. But I take the point that there are reasons behind the desperation people feel in lots of American communities. Um, for a long time in black and brown communities, increasingly uh, in white communities too. You know, the economic unease, uh, the social isolation, the way opioids have come in to fill that void, the way those issues become issues at election time and then disappear in between elections. Um, you know, those are experiences, as I say, um, black communities have, have, uh, have had and felt for generations, but now many, many more communities are, uh, are feeling that. And until we get at that and invest in the, um, in the kinds of response, uh, responses that alleviate and ultimately eliminate those kinds of anxi anxieties and stresses and trauma, then it will not be enough um, simply to train police officers how better to, uh, to de-escalate. I think that may be this is how I sense what the, um, what the slogan defund the police is getting at.